Hey guys, Johnny Mac here. Uh, new quick video for you. Um, got a new old um, addition to the uh, gun collection. Uh, this is my grandfather's um, Stevens Springfield 84C in 22. 22 short, 22 long, and 22 LR. Um, the age, apparently it was built anywhere between 1940 and 1948. Um, they don't have serial numbers, so I can't pin down an exact date. I just know that the 84C was made during that time period. And it's a J. Stevens Arms Company, Springfield, 84C. Um, pretty cool. It's nice to be able to get a hand-me-down, um, from my grandfather. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, he's long past. My father had it and decided to, to give it over to me. Um, uh, it's in decent shape. It's not, the stock needs work. Um, I haven't fired it yet. Um, if I am, if I'm, if they uh, correctly quoted it, um, quoted my grandfather, it hasn't been fired since the 50s. So, we'll see. I haven't looked at the bore, um, so I just got it. But <clears throat> I'm going to redo the stock. Everything works on it mechanically. I soaked it in 3-in-1. Um, there is some rust on the receiver little surface rust there um, but the safety mechanism back here uh, the bolt everything I greased down with three and one um, and uh, the barrels in decent shape there's a little bit of um, petting but not much the stock is the big uh, worry so I'm gonna get that refinished with true oil maybe five or six coats of true oil um, it's a magazine fed gun six round mag the mags in great shape if if you have a gun like this and the mag is missing my understanding is you can get them from Savage um, you get a brand new Savage or a newer Savage mark II, and you can make some modifications to the magazine as from what I understand, it's like it comes to like a f um, to um, filing down ridges on the uh, back of the mag, and it should slide in. Now this one has got three sights. It's got a peep sight in the back, one of those old-fashioned peep sights, which actually, when I look down the barrel, seems to be dead on. Got the rear adjustable sight right there, and then the. Um, bead sight, but I'm wondering if there's a, uh, if there used to be a, uh, hood on that. I don't know for sure. But when you look through the, it lines up perfectly through the, uh, peep sight. Um, like I said, everything seems to work fine. I haven't fired it yet. It hasn't been fired in, <laughs> since the 50s, so that's quite a long, a, l a long time. Um, and it does shoot shorts, longs, and LR. Let's see if I can get in on this here. There you go. You can see the uh, imprint on the barrel. The other thing I noticed, there's a little bit of movement in the barrel. Just slight. It doesn't sit real tight. As tight as it should, so... I don't know if I'm going to have to bed the stock or whatever. There's a, there's a, uh, the takedown screw. This screw goes into a stud on the barrel, the barrel stud. That barrel stud, I took it apart, has some play in it. It kind of shimmies back and forth, so that might have something to do with it. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to replace that. Which I don't mind. These guns aren't worth anything from what I understand, but it is a family heirloom, so that's mainly what I'm concerned about. Anyway... Thanks for watching. Um, if you have an old gun like this, I know these are pretty common guns. 
if you have an 84C, um, and there are a few other models from that time period that are very similar, um, let me know. Um, they, they're pretty cool guns. And from what I understand, they're tack drivers. These guns are really accurate. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching. Johnny Mac out.